Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I have an interview we did with the team from Quisi a few weeks back while we were at CES in Las Vegas. I had the chance to speak with Judy Chi, who understands everything there is to know about the current product development at Quisi. Now, we did spend a little bit of time talking about their current submersible, the Feefish P3, which I have in front of me, and I think this is a fantastic product, but she also gave me some really interesting details about a new product they're releasing come spring called the V6. Now, I love the P3. I've spent a lot of time with this over the summer, swimming it around in local lakes and oceans, and I've done clips on the channel. They built a product here that's sort of on the high end of the consumer submersible space. There's a lot of companies out there that build smaller submersibles that'll go down maybe 50 feet in a lake, but if you need something that's gonna go deeper, maybe 300 feet, this is the kind of product you need. And these guys have been in this market for quite some time. They build large commercial products that are used by governments and commercial search operations and diving companies to do surveys underwater and recovery operations and they moved into the consumer space with a couple of different models, their current model being the P3. But you'll find the P3 to be sort of on the high end of the consumer space because it does a whole lot more than most of the submersibles on the market. Most of the ones that are out today have limited distance they can swim, they've got a limited battery life, the cameras aren't that great. This product has everything you're gonna want in a high-end submersible. It's got a 4K ultra high definition camera, it's got incredibly bright lights on the front, a wide field of view, it'll go down to 300 feet underwater. There aren't a lot of underwater submersibles that'll go that deep. So if you need to get down there and actually see something at the bottom of a lake and it's pretty deep, this is the product you want. Now what's got me so excited about this new product coming in the spring is they're taking a lot of the technology that's built into the P3 and moving it to a somewhat smaller drone. So the underwater submersible, the V6, will not only be smaller, it'll be less expensive, it'll go down just as deep, but it has a different propulsion system on it. Because one of the challenges, I guess, with a product like this is you've got three impellers, which means you can go forward and back, you can go up and down, and you can get to where you need to go. It's tricky to turn because you're turning on a center point. The new one has a five-way propulsion system, which means you can not only turn 360 on a center point, you can go up and down, forward and back, but you can also move sideways, which is really cool. And if you fly drones, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You want to be able to pan sideways with the product while keeping focus on a particular item, or even spin around a particular point of interest underwater. That new V6 sounds like it's going to do it. And I'll be honest with you, I think this underwater market, from what I've seen at CES and talking to companies, is going to explode this spring. So there's going to be probably a half a dozen products that you're going to want to pay attention to, and we're going to cover them all here on the channel. So I kind of tricked her a little bit and said, hey, that V6, you're going to ship us one for testing, and I'm hoping she's going to live up to that, because I'd love to get my hands on it. It's just about springtime here in the, in the Northeast, and I'm going to spend a lot of time down the shore. So when I get my hands on the V6, we'll be reviewing it here on the channel, so stay tuned for that. But I don't want to steal too much of her thunder, she goes through a couple of details in the review. Now, if I missed anything at all during this interview, please drop those questions below because I talk to the company on a regular basis and I'm more than happy to get any questions you have answered as quickly as I can. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I always put a pitch out for this. I've got so many more clips coming on this technology, aerial technology, and a bunch of other high-tech gear. Hit that subscribe button down in the corner. Make sure you join, join the Drone Valley team because we'd love to have you here watching these clips and learning about all this new technology that's coming out. So anyway, enough about me rambling. Let's get to the interview you now. Thanks an awful lot for watching, and here's Judy. Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. I'm here with Judy Chi from Quisi to uh, talk about some of their submersible products. Now, you guys know I've reviewed the product behind me, this P3 Fee Fish product on the channel. I love it. I think it's a wonderful underwater submersible. It, from my perspective, it's designed more for the high-end underwater submersible market yes. that needs precision, it needs extra weight because if you're in choppy water, it doesn't float around like some of the smaller ones. And I love it. I think the quality of the video is amazing. The controls on it are rock solid. I can swim where I need to. It hovers real well. I just love the product. How has it been selling for you? Uh, yeah, it sells very well all around the world, especially in USA. We sell in b and at Roma, the most famous and well-known uh, um, photographer channels. And we delivered from May last year, and we sell almost 300 pieces in USA. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah it's a yeah. wonderful product. Yeah. I was really impressed with the engineering behind it. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys build a lot of different drones. I see a big commercial drone over there. Yeah, the commercial drones. Um, but it's, it's built as if something to be used for industrial purposes. Like, it's really built strong and well, well solidly built. Five feet P6 only for Chinese markets. For example, some government market. Right, yeah. I got it. But this one I like because it's got 
It's got a fixed lens on the front of it, but it's 4K, it's high definition. Yeah. You have those two Cree lights. Yeah. If I get into a dark corner of the lake, I can light it up and see mm -hmm. the fish there. Yeah. It's just a beautiful product, I love it. If I have to compare it like I do on the channel to other submersibles out there, mm -hmm. like I said, a lot of them start here mm -hmm. and are really just toys. Then yeah. there's a couple in the middle. We are a tool. You're a tool. Yeah, That's we a great are way to tool. put it. Oh, I like that. So we have toys yeah. and we have tools at the top and you guys are at the tool end. Yeah. I like that. Um, now, I heard a rumor mm -hmm. that you have a new product coming yeah. the end of next summer. Is that true? Yeah, is, is it. Okay, so I heard I heard V6. Is that what it's going to be called? Yes, correct. V6. Okay. V6. And that'll be a less expensive model than the P3. Less, uh, more cheaper and more shorter so you can easily take it to everywhere. Right, right. This one is big, I give you that. I've carried it around and it's heavy. I got a suitcase, I bring yes, it around yes. it. But the V6 interests me because that sounds like more of a consumer product. So you have a professional product where if I'm a search and rescue person and I'm in a harbor and I have to find something underwater, that's yeah. the one I want to use. Yeah. The V6 would interest me as a fisherman mm -hmm. or just somebody curious about what's in a lake or mm -hmm. whatever. Now, tell me some of the unique features on the V6. What's different about it? Yeah, normally the underwater drone, they only have six directions, up and down, move forward and back, turn left and right, but our new product, V6, which can turn all of the directions you want. Right, yeah. now that's unique in the space. That's mm -hmm. different than anybody else. Yes. So she showed me a video a minute ago, I guess they've been testing it in the waters, and with the other products, this one included, you can't really move sideways at all with it when you're focusing on something. You can't move yeah. sideways. You also can't spin and keep an eye on a product. Yeah. I'm used to doing that from flying quads. That makes it beautiful to circle a product. The V6, you can do that. Yes. So course. that's really unique. It's very awesome for underwater shooting. You're very you excited. I can yeah, tell yeah, about this very product. Exciting. Very, very cool. Now, uh, I know you can't announce pricing on that, but that might be in the consumer price range, right? That'll be... Consumer price range, Okay, yes. so the average consumer could look at that and go, I know it's expensive, but it's a cool toy and I want to buy that and they can afford it. That's fantastic. Yes. So that's really, really strong. So that means you're going to have a full line of submersibles at that point. Mm -hmm. Now, how deep does that new V6 go? It goes 100 lot... meters too. 100 meters? Yes, yeah, 300 feet. Thanks for doing the conversion for me. I was doing it in my head. You, uh, you have a unique product there because most of the drones, mm -hmm. the underwater drones in that space mm -hmm. are yeah. maybe 100 feet, yes. right? Yes. This one going down 300 feet, that's deep. That's really deep water. But does it have lights on the front to light up underwater? Light under the water. It does. Yes. And it's got everything you need. So that mm -hmm. sounds like a cool product. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep a lookout for that one. Mm -hmm. And okay. I'm going to bug you to get one so I can test it for you and give yeah, it a look of underwater. Course, yeah. All right, you heard her on camera say that, so that's good. Well, listen, thank you very much, okay. Judy. I'm going to try it one more time. Okay. Judy Chi, how'd I do? Chi. Chi. Almost, almost did. <laughs> I've been practicing, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye.